Welcome back everyone. In this video I'll be working on my ball mill for crushing up clay. So this is my first prototype. This is a six gallon bucket which I'll put the clay in and it is sitting on top of these four wheels which are driven by these two motors. And when the motors turn the wheels the bucket will roll on top and we'll have a couple rocks inside the bucket to tumble around and crush up the clay. Now on the ends here we have more wheels that are just for keeping the bucket from drifting to one end or the other. Let's talk about the fundamental properties of this roller that we want to put in the second version and that will also help us figure out which parts are unnecessary and can be left out. So the purpose of the roller is to support the bucket's weight, turn the bucket, and it also needs to keep the bucket from drifting off the ends. So for supporting its weight, we have these four wheels here, which are supported by this bottom section. And this part's really strong, so that's good. And for turning the bucket, we have the two motors driving all four wheels. And then to keep the bucket from drifting off the ends, we have these wheels on the ends here. So in the second version, I think I'll only have these two wheels driven by the motors, and these two can just be for support. I'm also going to heighten this bottom part here to give the motors a little more space. And then I can also have a completely flat bottom instead of having these blue parts poking out. I'm also going to add more support for the axle around the wheels. And I'll try to see if there's an easy way of making this part less flimsy. And also this whole top part here uh, was supposed to make the whole thing stronger, but it doesn't really do anything so I can take that off, which is great because then I can just set the bucket in from the top instead of trying to slide it in from one of the ends. version is now complete. It's much more compact than the first version and I did manage to make this part a bit more robust and these wheels are now just for support while these two are driven. All right now that that's done we're finally ready for a test. As you can see I've added some chicken wire to the inside of the bucket and that will help the clay to tumble instead of just sliding around inside. And I've also added a window to the lid so we can see what's going on inside. So I don't exactly know the best way to do this, but to start out, I have the bucket filled about a fifth of the way with the clay I've been drying. And I've added five fist-sized rocks. That was obviously nowhere near strong enough to turn the bucket, so I have upgraded to this much larger motor, uh, which is plenty strong, but that has revealed a couple more problems. The rocks and the clay were tumbling in separate spots in the bucket. The clay would ride up on the side 
of the bucket while the rock stayed near the bottom. And so I added these ridges on the inside to scoop up the rocks and then drop them on top of the clay, which I think is a little bit better, but it's still missing the clay. So that'll definitely need to be tweaked. When the bucket turns, it has to be strong enough to lift up the rocks and the bucket actually sometimes stops turning while the wheels keep going. So that means that the traction is too low. And even though the motor is strong enough to turn the bucket, it is unable to. Another problem is that the chicken wire occasionally slips on the inside of the bucket. So that will definitely need to be fixed. I will talk about how I ended up fixing those problems in the next video. I hope to see you then.